welcome everyone to yet another episode of our Nostalgia Gaming series. This is going to be episode number 22, and today I am going to be reviewing Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Created and developed by LucasArts in 2008, this game focuses on Darth Vader's apprentice as he carries out the infamous Execute Order 66 and wipes out the remaining Jedis that are throughout the galaxy. So, this game, compared to other Star Wars titles, has a really dark path that you have to travel down, and eventually you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. So, this is a part of a two... I think there's a second uh, spin-off game to this. There's a Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2, and that one, I never actually played that storyline, so I, have, I can't really comment on that game. But this one was my personal favorite Star Wars, kind of like solo adventure game. And I, I really enjoy this game just because of the physics engine that's utilized, which is the Havoc physics engine. And I think LucasArts just really perfected it with this game because it was just a perfect fit. I love how all of the enemies, you're able to utilize the force on them and kind of just push them around the environment and see how they react with the various objects. And another thing that's really great about this game is you'll see in this clip here, I'm actually playing as Darth Vader and battling one of these Jedi's that's sort of hiding out here on this planet and then I discover my apprentice here as a young boy and I sort of execute his master or father and then take him under my wings so that's basically what Darth Vader tries to do with this new apprentice and you'll notice that throughout the game there's all kinds of different casts and characters that you will come across there's actually sort of a similar to C-3PO it's kinda like a human cyborg, uh, or a, kind of like a little droid there that kind of accompany, accompanies you on your journey, and you're able to just travel along with him. He provides information and just insight to different things throughout the galaxy, so it's really useful. And speaking of useful abilities, the apprentice in this game actually, he actually has several useful abilities and special moves that you're able to perform, such as the Force Repulse, the infamous lightsaber throw, the lightning shield, uh, let's see, there's Sith Sheen, a saber blast, the Sith strike, lightning bomb, the impale move, saber lock, force locks, there's a push lock, there's various blocking moves that you're able to perform if you're trying to dodge uh, laser fire from, you know, just stormtroopers or whatever rebel forces hiding out. Some really unique finishing moves if the enemies are kind of damaged, if, they, if you've already dealt some damage to them, you could kind of go up close and personal and just do a finishing move, which is really nice. It's kind of like Mortal Kombat in a way. But um, also, if you're trying to avoid gunfire and stuff, or laser fire, yeah, I should say blaster fire. You, there's a dash and evade move by pressing L1 if you're playing on PS3, such as myself. And you could kind of just dash here and get a across these gaps and stuff. It just really makes it easier for getting around the environment. And other than that, there's also some really unique collectibles throughout the levels that you'll notice. There's these force bonus points and other co unique collectibles that I think they actually grant you some special features and gallery items. So you can actually look at uh, some behind the scenes Star Wars footage. And I know I'm a huge Star Wars fan myself. So that's one of the reasons why I love collecting all these special things and stuff within this game. So another thing I wanted to mention is that as you travel throughout the various planets within the galaxy, you'll notice that there's some really challenging boss battles, and one of them is actually my favorite in a Star Wars game, kind of like a solo adventure Star Wars game, which is what I consider this one, is uh, the Rancor battle, battle on planet Felucia, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but it's just a really vibrant planet. It has a lot of nice uh, fauna and foliage. And there's just really awesome boss battles throughout this entire game. So this is one of my favorite Star Wars games, if not my favorite solo Star Wars story. It just, they really did a great job bridging the gap between episode number three, when the original Anakin's uh, transition to Darth Vader, and he carried out Execute Order 66. So this is kind of bridging the gap between episode number 3 and 4, A New Hope, where there's kind of like that period in between. It's kind of like a no one really knew what was going on. So this game really showcases all of those horrific events that took place. And it was kind of a, 
a traumatizing event for the entire galaxy because Darth Vader's apprentice was going around and just really destroying all the Jedi uh, that were remaining as well as the rest of the Empire was expanding and everything. It's just a really unique story. So definitely a recommendation. If I had to rate this game on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, I would probably have to give it either an 8.8 .8 or a 9 because it just it's a solid game all around. And definitely one of my favorites from my earlier childhood. If you're also a fan of Star Wars, you'll notice in this game that there is several recurring characters from the series that kind of pop up here. And one of my favorite scenes in this game, actually from the opening trailer, is when the Apprentice brings down one of the uh, one of the Empire's fleet ships, which is really cool. It's a cruiser ship. He brings the entire thing down and it crashes into the environment. It's a really awesome scene. So, anyways, highly recommend this video game. Definitely check it out. And anyways, stay tuned for more content and episodes coming soon, everyone.